explaining how the VLOOKUP works, particularly in clinical data management. So clinical data management is a process where you validate the data and during the process of validation, we raise a lot of queries and during the process of raising a lot of queries, every month we get query reports comparing to last month to this month report. So that is how we will compare last month report to this month report and we will see that how best we can compare and pull the report by using VLOOKUP. So I'll, I'll quickly take it up. So there are two reports here. So one report is March month report or May month report. This is May month report wherein I have given 20 subjects or you can say it as 10 subjects, but repeating data points. 10 subjects, repeating data points are there. So it means that there are AEIDs, one, which is fever and 24th and 30th, which is overlapping with the fifth record of fever, which is 26th and 1st. So it means that the subject ID 110, who is having two AEIDs, which is one and five, who is having fever, which is same adverse event, which is having an overlapping date of AE start date and AE ongoing within the two records. And it is shown very clearly that these two records are duplicate records. Per understanding about duplicate records, we have raised the queries saying that the data is not valid and please delete the duplicate records. So in the similar way, we have gone to 111 subject wherein the AEID 4 and AEID 6. So both are having same A term with A start date and A stop date are overlapping with each other. So now for this reason also, we have raised the query, action taken we have given, we have raised the query and what action, who has taken the action is just I have given MJ and which date I have given the action also I have given here a particular date. So now with this, we try to understand that all the queries which were being raised last month, last month in May 2023, we have given a big report of this all records. So wherein you have raised all this query because all these are invalid data or duplicate data. So now if you see 115 also, so this two are the same subject, 11 and 12 records which are having vomiting, but they are overlapping with the start date and stop date wherein we have a problem of duplicate records and we tend to raise the queries which is being given here in terms of raising the manual query. So we have given manual query we have raised and we have taken this report as it is. So in the month of May, we have raised all the queries and we have put. Now coming back to in the month of June, we got one more report. In the month of June, we got one more report. And this report in the month of June, this report, we have got the previous 20, the previous 20, what we have got here. So this 20, we have got now also in the June month. Apart from that, we have got another uh, 10 extra subjects. So totally 30, we have got totally 30, we have got. And that uh, 20 subjects or invalid data is here shuffled. It is not as usual. Now, for example, here, if you see carefully, the subjects IDs are not shuffled 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116. Like this, the data point is being given. However, in June 2023, these are not the continuous numbers. It is being shuffled, and we really don't know which subject has got where. So, say for example, triple one here, one subject is there, and one more subject will be somewhere at the bottom. So somewhere at the bottom, one more subject will be there with triple one. Here it is. Here it is. Triple one subjects are two. But in our earlier sheet, it's the same thing which we have got. But the question here is this triple one and this triple one in the month of May, we have raised the queries. We have raised the queries and we don't want to do the duplicate work. Already these answers we have got which is raised to query and who has the user MJ and what date it has been raised, it has been given clearly. So we have already have this data. So how can we pull this sheet to the June month sheet to this action taken, action by and action date? 
So how can we put the date and action taken and action by from the previous record, from the May record, how can we drag this or pull this, this, this to June month and put it here? We have to understand and we have to take care of this aspect. Now, how are we going to do this? I'll show you uh, how we can pull up the data from here, this raised query MJ and date for only the subject who are here, who are matching with this. So we look up, makes the data to be pulled from one sheet to the other sheet, which maps the data from the previous sheet to this sheet so that it makes clarity that you don't need to do rework of that particular activity. Now, before I do VLOOKUP, I need to make concatenation. What is concatenation is I need to make sure that there is a unique identifiers for this particular item. So say for example, combination of subject ID, A term, A start date and A ongoing is your concatenation, which is most, most important for us. So now I'll make it as concatenation here which I'm removing it as uh, equal to, first I have put equal to formula here and then concatenate, concatenate open bracket. And then I'll put here this subject ID to end comma. I'll take from A E I D to end comma and I'll take A E term to end comma and I'll take start date to end comma. I'll take end date to end and close bracket. So now I got some value here, which means that it's a concatenation of 110 subject ID and first record of AEID fever and with the date and with the stop date also is being given here. So I can just double click on this and I will get all the records concatenation. All the records concatenation will be clearly mentioned here. All the records concatenation will be given here. So concatenation is being given at this particular records. And the similar way I need to concatenate uh, on this record also. I need to concatenate on this record also. Concatenate. and equal to concatenate open bracket this value to bottom value comma this value to bottom value comma this value to bottom value comma this value to bottom value comma, this value to bottom value, closed. And then we get the concatenation of this values. So I have concatenated so that I can compare this concatenation uh, with this particular two data points. I have concatenated here in the month of June, in the month of May also. Now I have some data here, which is raised query for some subjects, and we have to map this content for those subject into this June record. So that is how we will see now. Uh, I'll put open bracket, we look up. We look up, open bracket. What I'm looking is, I'm looking for this value, which is this, I concatenated it. And where I'm looking is, I'm looking into this concatenation and then I'm looking into this raised query. I'm looking into this raised query. And I'm putting it here, a comma, wherein it indicates two. Where is the second value? We have to take it up. The second value is after this, you want the second value, which is raised to query. And I want the true value, which is uh, your exact match. Exact match I wanted to take. So to make sure that it gets freezed, I'm just putting a dollar here. I'm putting a dollar. Uh, to make sure that the data is getting freezed, I'm putting a dollar at J and at I, I'm putting a dollar. And uh, at the end, I'll put close bracket. So enough, uh, I have put VLOOKUP. 
uh, and then I have gone into the June month. I have gone into June month. We look up. Open bracket. This value, comma. Open bracket. Then I will go here to here to bottom, comma to comma zero. So which is exact match. And then I have to go for a dollar in front of the letters, dollar in front of the letters, dollar in front of the letters, and then I'll press enter here. So now it is coming as not applicable. So I'll just do it. And then I will get the raised query for the subjects which are exactly matching. Say for example, 115 or 116 subject is given as raised query. If you search here 116, it will have a raised query and remaining things will be not applicable. Now I'll uh, one more time show how this VLOOKUP works. VLOOKUP open bracket, this value comma, going back to May month and taking up this concatenation, this one to this one and uh, till end comma. So the value is three, the value is three because I need to take the value of three and it is exact match and I need to put a dollar in front of letter so that it gets freezed, it gets freezed. And the three is the third column from here, one, two, three. So I'll put enter here. I will get the formula here, we look up formula. I'll double click it here. And then I will get the users who get, who has to be raising this queries, who has to be raising this queries. In the similar way, I'll put VLOOKUP here for the date also. VLOOKUP, open bracket, put this comma, go back to May month, and then put this and go back to all those things, select all till end, comma, four. Four I am taking because from here, one, two, three, four. I want this dates. Four comma zero, which is exact match. And for uh, letters, you just put dollar in front of I and in front of L. So now I will enter here and I will make it as a date here. So now the sheet is completed. So what are the new records? I'll just mark it not applicable here. I'll just mark it not applicable here. So these are not applicable, wherein all this will be new subjects. All this will be new subjects. 10 subjects, we have got new subjects. The previous 20 were old subjects. These are new subjects and new queries which we have to raise. And the older queries which are already been raised, we will not consider those things now. This are newer queries which has to be taken care or which has to be raised to queries. So now I have put a filter and I'll remove filter. And this is directly the data items copied from here, uh, from here to here. So we have two sheets. One thing I made it concatenation. From concatenation in both sheets we have done in May month and June month. June month I have put a logic which is called as VLOOKUP taking this concatenation, going back to that sheet and adding your value, which is two or three or four, and exact match is zero, close bracket, put a dollar in front of characters or letters so that we get exact outcome. And then this will pull up the VLOOKUP formula and this will pull up the data for you to be pulled from one month to the previous month.